So good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to a Brilliant Businesses podcast. My name is Nick Bryant, and I'm very pleased today to be joined by Tracy Wells from Home and Castle Estate Agents. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Nick. Nice to be with you today. Uh, are you all right? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. So I've been trying to get Tracy on the podcast for ages, it's fair to say. Um, she's a very busy lady. Um, but uh, Home and Castle Estate Agents are based in Polgate, but it's fair to say that they serve... Kent, East Sussex, Surrey, probably going up into London as well. Um, Tracy will tell us all about that shortly. But if we could start, Tracy, about you, tell us about how you got into where, got to where you are with the estate agency and how it all started. It's interesting, really, that I've been in the business for 33 years now. Wow. And seven years ago, I was working up in Surrey in quite a prestigious area and selling some pretty substantial houses. Um, but... Within the industry, I just felt that it was going the wrong way. Yeah. Uh, people's care, the emotional side of the business was totally lost and you became a process. Okay. That's all you ever were. Mm. Um, and obviously, the bosses I worked for, the main objective for them was obviously revenue, money. Yeah. Um, and I just sat there one day and I just thought, there was a lot of stress going on. I think there was an election going and mm. everyone was shouting at each other. Business was quite poor. And I just sat there and thought, do you know what? I don't, I don't like this anymore. Mm. This isn't um, what I envisage doing. Okay. It was clear through my interaction with those local clients that uh, I was very caring and they liked me. And I literally got a phone call about an agency down in Polgate. Okay. Um, and a really good friend of mine said, Tracy, this agency's got your name written all over it. And sort of the previous three years to that point, I'd actually gone in and helped other estate agents that were in difficulty, should yeah. we say. A partner yeah. was very sick. They needed support. So they said, look, Tracy, you've, you know, you've rebuilt these two agencies for other people. It's about time you did it on your own. Yeah, right. So I made an arrangement to pop down and have a look at the agency. I think the call came on the Monday. I looked at it on the Wednesday. I sold my house on the Friday. <laughs> and three months later... I moved to Sussex. Amazing. And wow. it was literally as simple as that. And I just think for me, it made me, uh, at the age of 50, I felt that if I didn't do it then, it was never, ever going to happen. And yeah. I just think it was the right time, the right circumstances. And yeah, the rest is history. Amazing. Well done. What was it like before um, that business? Was it a thriving local business or no, did you turn it around? No, quite the opposite. The yeah. reason I was given the opportunity to buy it was that um, the previous owner, uh, was a lovely person, yeah. um, uh, for whatever reason, got into great difficulty. And when I arrived at the, the premises, uh, I think there was a few properties that were there to be sold, but there wasn't any real contracts. There okay. was an on right move, which is the major yeah. portal for selling. Yeah. And there was 14 managed rental properties, which, to be frank, it was almost mm. as if I felt I met slum landlord, <sighs> met slum <laughs> tenants uh, they really weren't very well organized yeah. there was lots of issues and um so really effectively i started with uh, yeah pretty uh, pretty much nothing yeah but i phoned the people that the house to sell the houses i explained exactly i was very truthful with them mm. that i've come down i'm new to the area i asked them to give me 14 days two weeks okay to sell their houses and if i couldn't i'd let them go Wow. I didn't need the contracts. Yeah. And six out of the seven absolutely said, yep, okay, we'll go with this. You sound quite refreshing. Yeah. I put us on right move and I sold all of them. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, it proves in the building right there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so the estate agency now, it's not just um, selling, it's letting as well. And yeah. so explain us to us a little bit about what the business does. And okay, what so um, we are predominantly sales and lettings yeah. and property management. So we obviously seek to get houses on board that we can sell. We're not uh, in a particular um, area in yeah. terms of or style. We look at flats, houses, substantial houses, the unusual. Yeah. Um, I really enjoy that, actually. Yeah. My knowledge comes in then. I remember you telling us a story about um, um, uh, a lady who was trying to sell a bungalow. Um, and you encouraged her to actually about the land because the land was worth more than the bungalow? Or, or yes, I mean, just briefly, yeah. um, I got called out because a lady had been approached by a builder who wanted to buy her bungalow. Um, and to put it frankly, he'd offered her 285000 Yeah. Well, my background isn't just sales and lettings. I've actually been a land buyer. Okay. I have a bit of experience in that um, field. So 
when I arrived at the bungalow, I was very clear in my mind almost instantly that there was development potential there. Yeah. So I went back to my office, calculated what I thought. I then spoke to a local planning chap mm. who uh, supported everything I said. And we came to the realisation that the bungalow was worth 400,000. So no wonder the builder was trying to buy it at 285,000. I mean, he would have had made an absolute killing. Yeah. But what was so wonderful was that we managed to find the buyer who um, didn't want to develop it, but actually was prepared to pay near almost that amount of money. Yeah. So we accepted that because the process was less, you know, it probably would have been about 18 months to get that through planning. Yeah and achieve that extra revenue, but this lady said, no, I want it, ironically, for her cat. Was it right? <laughs> absolutely. Um, so it was a wonderful story. Yeah. And um, so the owner was absolutely over the moon, and the buyer was over the moon that she found a property that suited all her needs. You see, you were there the right place the right time for her, weren't you? So I think yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah that's kind of how it felt. And that's the sort of deal, if you like, the sort of opportunity that I love, something that's unusual, something that's got a bit of a story behind it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, something you can support yeah. and help. That's yeah. really cool. Now, you won an award recently, didn't you? Tell us about that. Oh, I'm so proud of that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> because um, having arrived in and having my own business, I became aware over the last few years that you can get, you know, get into award systems, as it were. Yeah. I was quite shocked to find that actually that you actually can almost buy your own award. You know, you can oh. en enter yourself, oh. pay money, and then get all your friends or local people. Yeah. Which is, don't get me wrong, that's great. Yeah. yeah. But to me, that's not an award. No. Um, it's not, you know, it's all solicit my own award. Um, so we got a call and we had been um, secret shopped by a company representing Right Move, as it were. And um, they phoned us up to say that they'd secret shopped us over a few occasions. And on every occasion, we'd passed the levels mm. and we were going to be uh, nominated and put in for a Best Estate Agent Award. I was really chuffed. Yeah, yeah, that's um, great. Really chuffed. And then they secret shopped us again for a period of four weeks and then we got the call to say that we came out on top. Yeah, that's amazing. So, And that was a real team effort, not just me. Mm. My staff were absolutely fundamental to getting that award. So that's made me really proud because clearly as a unit and as a team, we're working really, really well. Yeah, yeah. That moves me on to your team. And tell us, who who, who have you got on your team? How many there are you? So there, I've got four employees yep. I make five yes um so I'm I've got Lucy that uh, works with me she's been with me now Lucy coming up three years yes she's a really good sales yes. lady uh, quite dynamic um she's very um energetic and forthright in yes. what she does um she listens to people so I'm yeah she's she's done amazingly well over the last uh coming up three years and yep. she's growing daily yeah, uh, and it's really nice because she sort of, you know, I, I I don't have to support her quite as much as I did in the beginning. Okay, she's really learning her craft yeah. really well. Yeah, so yeah, I'm very proud of her. Yeah, um, I've got uh, Becky. Becky's uh, fundamental to support in the lettings department. She helps us with all the maintenance and the um, general running of the lettings, making sure that you know if there's any issues, they get sorted out. Um, I've got an amazing young lady called Emily just started with me. She mm. was 19. She's just turned 20. She's only been with me about five months. Yeah. And I'm really excited by Emily. She's mm. got a natural ability. Um, her customer service skills are fantastic. And actually, in winning the award, she came out actually top. Did she? Yeah. And she I'm just, yeah. um, I'm really excited about her interest in the business and the way that she conducts herself. And she's keen to learn. So we mm. just put Emily on the... Arla training courses, okay, um, which she's really, really taken to well. That's and good. So yeah, future's really bright. I think for Emily, she's really good I asset. I should imagine that's really, really um, nourishing for you as well when you can show a, a younger person what you've been through and, and show them your skills and get them to learn from you. Um, that's it, it's yeah. actually something I've been trying to achieve over the last seven years because yeah. as a young person myself I was given opportunities and mm. I uh, believe I embraced those and learned from mm. people I respected mm. um, and Emily's really given me that that sense of um, being able to almost pass on yeah. the business or, or yeah. whatever she's really yeah like I say a real exciting prospect and she didn't fit the mold either oh right well when she came on board at the beginning yeah, yeah. she sort of didn't come in all Beautifully dressed, smart, you know, mm. as in young men come in, you know, most of, most estate agents wear suits and ties and, yeah. you know, and they're very uh, yeah. sort of in expected to be a certain way. Yeah. And Emily didn't meet any of that. But when you sat and talked to Emily, 
wow. Yeah. I just remember thinking, wow, you really have got something about you. And the keenness that she wanted to change it. She was a hairdresser and she wanted to change and have a profession. Mm. And that excited me because that's actually how I got into the business. Okay. I changed my, completely changed my profession and I took a really low paid job. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a sense that she reminds me a little bit of myself. Yeah. So, yeah, it's really nice to have someone to pass it down to. Yeah, fair play to her. Yeah. I mean, she's obviously doing a great yeah. job. That's really cool. And I think the team now is um, really cemented by, we've just um, employed James. Yes. Um, who's come in as a, an ARLA qualified um, lettings manager. In fact, he's a fellow of ARLA. And that really now puts the seal on the company as, as, a, as a whole. Mm. And I can really see us now going forward. We've got all the qualification, the knowledge, the experience. We've got everything now in that office. So now it's time to take a so breath yeah. and now build. Build yeah. again. We've got to a certain level. Now I'm looking to build us again. Yeah, that's exciting times. Yeah, it's really yeah. great to have a good team in place. It sounds like that's really finally coming come into yeah. into place for you. Uh, let's just go back to um, the the areas that I spoke about because I mean, how many property do you have on at one time that you, that you manage the, the the rental side of things? Oh, at the moment we've got in excess of 120 properties. Yeah, um, and that's all over the southeast. Well, predominantly they're Polgate. Bexhill, Eastbourne, okay. Hastings, Housham. But because I have been in the business for so many years and covered such an array of areas over my time, because yeah. I had different types of professions within the industry, I've got a lot of contacts. Yeah, right. And people have literally just phoned me up and said, Tracy, we've got a house, it's in Croydon. Yeah. Well, I know Croydon really well. I was born there. I've lived there. Mm. Um, I've worked there. Mm. So I said, yes, I can do that. And they were quite astonished. So, um, And I've built on that as well. I don't see that probably for me to drive an hour and a half to an appointment isn't necessarily a big problem. No, no. Particularly if I'm managing the property, there's a monthly income, it works well. Mm. Um, and what I've done by doing that is then built on those areas. So once I'm in an area, yeah. I then seek to increase the amount of properties. So obviously if I'm doing inspections, I've got, I do yeah. them all on the same day or over a couple of days. And and it's quite nice being down here because there is a lot of people that move down. And naturally that's always happened, but it's been yeah. more so over the last couple of yes. years. Yeah. So when they ring me and they tell me their postcode, where they're living, and I say, oh, you live in Croydon, or oh, you live in Sutton, or oh, you live in Mitcham, or oh, you live in, yeah. you know, <laughs> it, they're, they're really actually quite surprised that, that I know where they live. Okay, yeah, and that you'll be prepared to go up there and help them. Uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's good because if you're in that area, whether it is you know Croydon or Mitcham or wherever it is, you know, and th and that, because you do you put board up? You do, do you put boards up? When they're that far out, no. no. Okay. No, to be fair, and I'm not the sort. Of, I mean, look, putting your boards up is important it, from a marketing point of view. Yeah. It looks good, lots of boards. Yeah. But you know what? I don't need that. No, exactly. Yeah, I thought that's I don't what need that. Mm. Yeah, there's there's sort of a talk about oh, you know, you need to be number one on portals. Well, of course, we all like to be number one. Yeah. But my motto is, if I'm number one with my clients, that's the best bit of business you can get, referral, isn't it? And that's nearly everything we get is referred business yeah. because of the way we conduct ourselves and look after people. Yeah. So th those people in those areas speak about other speak to other people in those areas, and then you have a knock on effect like that. Yeah. You don't need the board, do you? Yeah. For your night, you've got yeah. rentals everywhere. Yeah, it'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Good, isn't it? Um, so what's, um, you're, you're really passionate about what you do. Um, I, I, I've, I've got to know you over the last, because we do some networking, mm. and um, it, you, you come across, I, I, I've never seen anyone as passionate about, about their business as, the, as you are. Um, what, where are you going to go with it with the future? What's the, I mean, you've got your right team in place now. Mm. Um, it's just, I just grow in, just get more business in, just do con continuing a great job. Yes, that's yeah. really important to keep the foundation of what we've built there. But actually, um, as probably most people know, the last couple of years has been quite phenomenal in the property world. And yeah. it's actually been really difficult at times to keep up with everything and maintain those standards. Mm. And I'm proud that we have, actually. That's mm. important. But with the team now coming together, I'm actually really excited again. It's almost like I've got another momentum Go to do. I've got to back. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, and actually, I'm looking at expanding us. Um, not necessarily with more offices, mm. um, but taking us into other areas of the business. Mm. I, have an I have nine years' experience in land and new yeah, homes, buying yeah. land, development. Yeah. I can deal with commercial to a certain degree. Yeah. Um, so there are areas I want to explore. 
Um, but naturally, I would love to build on the level of sales yeah. and the, the level of rental management yeah. that we do. That's that's also really important that's to really build on that. That's yeah. your core, isn't it? Your core Absolutely. business. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's what we do really, really well. Mm. It's what mm. we love. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, all well the future's looking bright, isn't it? <laughs> um, well, thank you, Tracy. I think um, we've covered it all. I mean, if there's anything else, then um, we'll, I'm sure we'll do another podcast soon. Um, but uh, if anyone wants to speak to Tracy about buying a property, selling a property, renting a property, looking at some land, then all her details are on this on this podcast and they'll all be on the Brilliant Businesses website. Um, so thanks, Tracy. It's thanks, Nick. It's been great to have you on here at last. We got there in the <laughs> end. I really enjoyed and it. Thank oh, good. You. And um, we'll see you for another podcast soon. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>